Hey guys, quick back chemistry basics here. Let's talk about fluorescence in situ hybridization. Fluorescence in situ hybridization is a technique which is widely used for the detection of specific DNA sequences or genes on the chromosome. In this method, the cells are first fixed on a slide and treated with mild detergent and alkali. The detergent causes cell lysis whereas the alkali converts double-stranded DNA into single-stranded DNA. Next, for the detection of specific DNA sequences, a fluorescent label probe is prepared. The probe is usually prepared by amplifying the known sequences of DNA using PCR and labeling it with a fluorescent dye. In the next step, the probe is added to the sample and allowed to hybridize with the complementary DNA sequence. The probes made with different fluorescence dye can also be used for the detection of multiple DNA sequences on the chromosome. After hybridization, the samples are washed to remove the unbound probe and the samples are now visualized under fluorescence microscope. Using fluorescence microscopy, the region of chromosome where the probe binds can easily be detected. This helps in localizing different genes on the chromosome. Thus, the gene that has undergone amplification, duplication or deletion can easily be detected.